Hello there guys and gals, The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in an Artifacts Monday classic kind of way in Queen's Quest V, Symphony of Death. Now, this was developed by Brave Giant, published by the legends themselves, Artifacts Monday, and although isn't on Game Pass, is absolutely free to download and play from the MS Store right now. You heard me, it's more free than the land of the free, which really isn't that free. Guess which country I'm on about. <laughs> wink, wink. Anyway, if you've played any Artifacts Monday games before, this will be all too familiar for you. It's the sort of same gameplay, the same voice acting, same style point and click with all the trimmings. And that's not a bad thing though, as these games really draw you in, and it's why the people love them. Another easy achievement list as well, pretty much as is accustomed to 1AM games. About six or seven story-related achievements. There are achievements for completing a certain amount of hidden object puzzles, all mini-games, and finishing a hop, hidden object puzzle, and mini-gaming under a minute. But it's all easy because you can pause it and follow the video along. Plus, we've got 16 ones, 16 puzzles, and eight ghost collectibles to collect. It is an enjoyable one that can be done in around two to three hours. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, we can just play on casual, so you can stick in that in the new game, Symphony of Death. And an even bigger plus this time is we don't have to play the bonus game afterwards, which is awesome. So press the B button, press and hold the B button to skip any cutscenes, and then it kind of plays like a tutorial. So, obviously, A button will be to interact with things, and the X button will be to get things out of your inventory. So, have a look at the first puzzle there, just on the left-hand side on the cupboard, and then interact with the bird cage again. Go down, and then it's just going to tell us that we need to collect a bunch of items. So, collect all these items. Again, remember to co um, collect that first puzzle, which was just on the left-hand side on the um, sort of cabinet looking thing. So, all good for now anyway. Um, grab everything, it's gonna, you, you basically have to do what the game tells you, so we need to open the diary. Um, we're gonna need to open up the map and everything in a minute. And, you know, again, if you've played a game like this, <laughs> well, you'll know exactly what's going on really, because sometimes the story can get a bit nuts. Anyway, once you've grabbed the two pieces of paper, open the map, now, you can uh, quickly travel to a location, but we are not going to need that at all because we're going to do things in a particularly good order. So now we should have an item of what we need. So what we're going to do, click back on that birdcage, uh, go to where the circle is, and then press the X button. That is how you use things uh, in your inventory. So use the sort of lock type thing. And now this little Mr. Magpie, that's an unlucky number, right? Number one. Anyway. He needs a, he needs some grub, so we're going to ha have a look at the right hand side there. And we, we have to find bird seeds and 12 picture fragments. Now, what's even better about this game as well, is that n the only things that are random is a couple of puzzles. But all these hidden object puzzles, and most of the mini games, should play out the exact same as you. So the best thing you can do is, every time you get, every time you get to a hidden object puzzle or something, we, uh, you can literally just pause the video and go along because, um, most importantly, for getting, obviously we've got to um, do hidden object puzzles and a mini game in under a minute, but there's also an achievement, as we grab the frog, put it over the right hand side, uh, there's an achievement for completing a hidden object puzzle without making a mistake. So you know when you press the A button and it goes red and shakes, that counts as a mistake. Um, so it's probably worth doing it in one of the early hidden object puzzles. I'll tell you which one I do it on. Um, but obviously, you know, to get that unmistakable achievement, you need to be quite careful. If you do end up making a mistake and you want to get it done early, you can just quit, completely quit out the game to the main menu and load back in. And it should reload um, not too far from the hidden object puzzle. So, um... Apologies, I just have to explain that over doing this puzzle, but I, I <laughs> thought it was the best time. Um, but that really is, again, there's nothing too difficult in this game at all. Um, the last picture uh, fragment was on the right there, and then that'll open up the bird seeds, and let's grab that. So, again, we we'll come to that a little bit later on, um, but like I said, to get... To get both things in under a minute, just pause the game on literally any minigame or hit, hit any hidden puzzle and you should be fine. So interact with the bird again, or interact with this piece of paper apparently first. I don't think that's particularly needed, but all good. Anyway, click uh, click the X button on the bird, give him the bird seeds, and he's now going to give us this little item. So one of them is 
kind of like a prince uh, princess from Mario. Oh, help me, I've been caught. I'm in, I'm in a, a big tower with Bowser looking over me and stuff. Then we can just interact with the door. Um, press the X button on the dragonfly. Use the oil. I mean, that must have really been rusted if we couldn't sweep the uh, door to the left, but the, the lock to the left, but there we go. Hold the A button to proceed, and for some reason we got a pet dragon just chilling. <clears throat> because why not? Right, a few things we're going to do. Grab the cloth off the line, and then use it on the fire. And that's going to chill us out, so thanks for that, dragon butthead. Um, interact with the hit next hidden object puzzle right there. And again, so... Just copy and do exactly everything that I do, but again, if you want to get these things in under a minute, get those achievements out of the way, and without making a mistake, just pause the video, go to where I go, and Bob's your uncle, and Nan's your fanny, aunt, or whatever that is. <laughs>and there we are then, life is good, especially even better if you just unlock some achievements. So next thing to look at is uh, interact with this item looking thing in the back, and we need to put this lantern handle on it, so again press the X button there, and then press the A button to put the lantern handle on. We need to basically put all four sides till they turn uh, Bulbasaur leaf style green leaf leaf. Uh, pick up the bowl as well from the left hand side. And now click on the lantern handle at the top, turn it around, turn this one to Bulbasaur style leaf. And again, because we've got fire for Charmander, we've got water for Squirtle, and the cloud is just Pikachu who ends up zapping you, because that's what Pikachu does. So grab this item from inside and grab an item on the top there, like the snail type thing. And then we're going to press the hold, uh, hold and press the B button to go back into the starting area. So interact with the left hand side cabinet where we found the first puzzle. And now what we're going to do is make a potion. We're going to be making a few potions throughout the game. Because this is Harry Potter style or something. Um, without the transphobic uh, author. Which is always handy. So put the berries in first. And then put the earth root on the left hand side chopping board. So that will automatically chop up for us. Um, put the bowl just underneath the weird big nose bowl thing right there. Pot of poo. So you can skip mini games, But it's best not to because we need... Uh, to complete all the mini games, so put that in there, and then grab the left-hand side potion. Pop that in there. Grab the uh, this is specific looking white powder. Put it in the blue one. Then grab the second bottle from the shelf and put it in with the um, coke. I mean flower. Grab the earth root. Put it in the right-hand side one, and then grab the blue bottle. Put that in the same one as the earth root. Suspicious looking white powder in that second one again. Weird. Right, uh, you need to turn these until the top one is on the sort of left-hand side and the bottom one is on the triangle. So, there we go, the sort of, um, is that is that red on the left-hand side? Slightly colorblind, slightly mongish. And then the bottom one there on the triangle. And then what we can do, that starts magicking up, so put them left, uh, turn the left-hand side most lever, then the right, and then the sort of top one after that. So it's left, right, left, more or less. There we go, bottom left, right, bottom up, and then bottom left again, and that will explode. That kind of look... That looks like the kind of um, diary soup that your 112-year-old nan makes, but you still eat it because she's cute enough to do it for you, you know, you don't want to complain. Because they ate, like, leaves and dust in the war and stuff. Grab the ghost on the left-hand side right there, as you could see, before moving in with the dragon, so... Kind of tricky to see, maybe, but there is a ghost on the left-hand side, so that should be a first out of eight one. Given the potion to the dragon, we'll chill him out and get us the dragon tamer achievement. So we interact with just underneath the dragon, move these boards out of the way. And we can pick up this pendant-type thing, and pick up the paper as well. It's not particularly needed, uh, but there is a potion, a bottle of something that we can just pick up, so... Uh, grab that boy. Excuse me, my chest is about to explode at my face at the minute. Hmm. 
Anyway, going back, and we're going to interact with the left table just underneath the where the bird was, and use the bird figure and the snail figure that we've got. So again, press the X button, use L snail figure. Now all you've got to do is just interact with each one once, and they'll automatically go into their Righteous Placios. And out comes a butterfly. Put that shit on that shit. And then we can grab the two items. And then we can grab the box. And that is our potion cube. Now we will be using this a couple of times by pressing down on the D-pad. The hints we won't bother with. The diary and the map we don't bother with. But the potion cube we do. And again, to make different potions, we'll be using this a couple of times. So first of all, put the potion book on the potion book stand, I assume, I guess. Yeah, why not? And then what we can do is press... Oh, we need the matches, sorry, from the right-hand side. Put them over to the... Um, uh, what are they called? The beakers? On the left? Yeah, that'll do. Start up the fire. Then we can press the X button on the ball. Eventually. And then we can use the potion powder... The Flight Essence and the Dried Wings. Oh, I think it has to be the Dried Wings first, sorry, and then the uh, Flight Essence. Because if you try and grab this, it doesn't work. So you have to put all the ingredients in necessary, so you can't really make a mistake here. So again, a lot of um, fine white powders happening. And I just love the fact that the <laughs> you can buy hints for one like a pound 25 that's um sneaky but hilarious so anyway when you've got all the ingredients in it's all mashed up put them in the powder on the right and that is what will get us the powder the beakers so i'm still thinking that's um weird white powder anyway that'll get us our achievement and we can now press and hold the a button to drink it kind of looks like the stuff from shrek with the truth potion but he turns into the hottest guy on the planet did i just say that out loud anyway all we're doing on this bit then is just uh, finding the finding the clouds, finding these symbols. It's a pear type game, so simple as hell. Now, when that's done, you will unlock an achievement. And for some reason, my controller at this point went a bit nuts, and I had to quit out of the game and come back into it. For some reason, I couldn't go back into the game, which was weird. But uh, that is what will happen anyway. You will, you should be able to see this cutscene. And we're just going to skip that again. And now we're into a castle just by drinking a potion. Harry Potter has got nothing on us, bro. Nothing. Anyway, talk to the king. Kind of looks like the Burger King king, doesn't he, really? He should have had a sidekick called the Colonel Kentucky or something. But uh, there we go. So Burger King king, have a look at this symbol at the back. Pick up the bird type thing right there. And then have a look at the wand. There's a wand at the bottom right corner right there. Just underneath the bird cage and to the right of the Burger King King. Interact with the bird cage. And all you've got to do now is just put this blue bird on the right hand side. This particular bird on the middle. The blue bird there on the right. And now we should also have... Uh, well, you can pick the crown and then we should have this bird as well which you could put on the left. That'll open up the bomb bit and get us another piece. Pieces of frying. Interact with the left side just behind the king. Put the crown on the queen. And life is good. We can now walk up to this and do this hidden object puzzle. Again, make sure to, if you haven't yet, do the unmistakable for not making a mistake. And try and do it under a minute. Again, you've got plenty to do, but always worth just putting them out of the way.
So you will get this achievement for completing three hidden object puzzles. And then what we can do now is interact with the sort of stone statue at the right hand corner. This place again. And then what we can do now is use the ornament that we got. Um, but you will get an achievement for completing three hidden object puzzles in under 10 minutes. Uh, for the next hidden object puzzle we do. You can literally get them done in like a minute or two at most. So that's all good. Interact with this uh, stat uh, the thing just next to the... Burger King King, and this one again is a simple puzzle, we're just making a house, so just fast forward about 30 seconds if you want to see the old finished product. And who knew? Solving puzzles and finding things opens up a portal to hell. Oh no, no, wait, this isn't hell. Cause I, you must be an angel. You, we must be in heaven. Anyway, on the right hand side at the top, find the second out of sixteen puzzles. And now we can interact with our angel of blondness of beautiness. Where are you going, blondness beautiness? Come back to me. Oh wait, no. Ah, uh, no, that's fair, that's fair. Right, interact with the bottom left-hand side statue. And then, um, there is something we can pick. It's a ball just at the top left-hand corner. So, don't bother about interacting with this for now. There is a silver ball just to the left of this box. There we go. Oh, apparently it turned gold now when I picked it up. Golden balls! Anyway, interact with this creepy thing on the right-hand side. Pick up the fish, pick up the box. And now what we can do, if you press the right trigger on your inventory... Uh, right trigger or left trigger, that brings your inventory up, and you see the box with the plus sign, that means we can add things to it. So pressing the D-pad to go over to it, and then in just a little bit, press the Y button, and then we can add things to it to get more items. Even though just giving out a hammer would have helped as well. Um, going into the office then, and pick up the one from the left hand side in the umbrellas, and there is another puzzle, hard to find just up in the sort of ceiling rafters right there. So that should be a second one and third puzzle. And then interact with um, Scruffy Mc... I don't have a bath guy. Next, interact with the prisoner when you finish speaking to him. And for some reason, the, the, the prisoner looks cleaner than the uh, guard. But there we go. Interact with the desktop. And then you should pick up the paper. And then pick up the sheriff's bridge. Interact with the left-hand side. Sort of cabinet. And then now we can put the badge in here. And again, just copy exactly what I do. And you should have no problems. So we are going to move the swords. And then move the handcuffs. Next, we're going to move the swords again. Move the helmet. Uh, yeah, move the helmet from the right hand side. Move the star. Move the shield. Move the helmet again. And then go ahead and just move the shield, move the star, and then move the shield. And that is the easy puzzle done. Again, the puzzles in terms of difficulty have toned down a bit as well. There's a lot of easy ones. One or two may take a few minutes, but it's not too bad. Anyway, pick up the book and pick up the two items, the one cat and the piece of paper. Interrupt with the left-hand side again, and we can open up this box and pick up this weird device. Tidy as nuts. Uh, interact with the right hand side and we've got another hidden object puzzle to do. Remember, if you haven't done unmistakable, don't make a mistake and try and get it done in less than a minwat. So this is actually the one where I, f um, now you, you should get an achievement called Speedy Hand, and that's for completing three hot magic puzzles in ten minutes. Very easily done, but I also get the fast pace achievement for completing a hidden object puzzle in less than a minute. So, again, if you haven't got it now, it's no problem, we've got plenty to crack on with. 
And now we're going to back out, and there's going to be a pure steroid beast mode. Nipping up the stairs. So, where do you think we're going to head? Exactly where the beast just went. So, what you have to do now is put up the piece of paper, and all you got to do is just follow exactly what I do. Another easy puzzle. You basically just got to copy the piece of paper and find it on the map, and then just press the A button. But follow along, and life will be fine and dandy. So that is one of the earliest opportunities you can get for completing a minigame in under a minute. I personally didn't, um, but again, we'll come up to that later. Right, we're going to fight the beast now, but it doesn't matter. All we've got to do is, his runes are on the left, and you just pick the ones that don't... Sorry, I was a bit quick there. But his runes are on the left, just pick the ones that don't have the symbol that he does. So for instance, it's like an E type looking symbol. Um, that is the one that we picked because the beast doesn't have the E symbol in it. So again, apologies about the first one, it went quite quickly. And again, just have a look at the symbol, what the beast doesn't have on the left hand side, and then pick what, and then pick the one that the uh, beast doesn't have. So we're not going to pick the ones with the E, because he's got it. We're going to pick the ones again, which he doesn't. So, pretty self-explanatory, but it may take a sort of minute or two potentially because it can be quite confusing trying to um, pick each one but that one is random apologies so you won't always get the same ones i do so left hand side pick up the wolf's head and then interact with the middle of the pack grab this bag grab the leaf grab the bear head and it'll automatically back out we are going to zoom on the right hand side couple of things to do here um just grab the piece of paper out of the um out of that thing right there Missing? No, I'll just chuck that away. Sorry, hon. Then put the walnut in it. That's going to pour that one. Pick the sort of snail shell and the snail. Chuck that in your pocket, nice and squishy. And the other part of the snail shell. Grab this metal piece and pop it on there. That's going to go in. And that should give us a symbol. So that's another symbol. Oh, we're running out of room in these packets. Right, we can do now. Press the right or left trigger. Go over to the snail base. Again, anything with a plus on it, press the Y button. And then just pop the snail shell on. What we actually need is a coin, which we don't have yet. Um, so you don't actually have to do that now. We can do that later, but I'll well, get it nice and ready, isn't it? So we're going to do it again. Um, and go over to the complex lock. Now you've got a wolf for the right-hand side, and you should have a bear head for the left-hand side. Of this complex lock. So there we go. That'll open up those two. So we can pick Senor Ding Dong Bell. And the coin out of the right hand side. Senor Ding Dong. <laughs> you are Ding Dong. And now what we can do. Interact with the snail again. Uh, by pressing the white button. And then we can use the coin on it. And for some reason. Uh, a snail. But that doesn't stab the snail. And kill him. Which is well, good for the snail. Anyway going back one. Uh, we've now got this um, symbol. With the thing basically in the middle of the right hand side. And this is another easy puzzle. All you're doing is grabbing specific items. Putting them in certain items. And then you've just got to listen to a bit of a story. And do this a couple of times. It's quite easy. And life is good. So for instance the shield is just to the left. Pop it on. Listen to a story. And this about it.
So I'm not sure if you could tell, but you can't actually skip any of these sort of puzzle cutscenes. Uh, which is fine, because a lot of it's quite actually quite interesting. But we should get a book for it anyway, so make sure to pick that book up. And then go ahead and interact with the history book that we just grabbed. Turn the page, pick up the item from there. Now go to the left-hand side, interact with the statue thing. And now we can interact with the broken piece. And pop that one together. Lovely jubbly. We should now have the other two symbols as well. The... Um, not the wooden wolves, but the fish and the schnail. And so for some reason I was uh, struggling with that one. And then all you got to do is put them in the order of, from left to right, bird, snail, cat, fish. So it would be the bird on the left, then the snail, then the cat, then the fish. So, with the key all grabbed, now we can just go up to the upper tower, and there is a ghost on the right-hand side, so make sure to pick up the ghost just by just to the right of the gate right there. So make sure that should be a second out of eight ghosts. Interact with the lock on the actual gate, and now we can use the key of life. It's the key to my heart, the key to my fart. Uh, interact with the crime scene. And here we are then. So, a couple of things to do. First thing, we're going to pick the puzzle, which is on the tree branch, basically in the middle of the screen right there. That should be a fourth out of 16 puzzle pieces. So just make sure you're on the same as me, otherwise we can interact with the mouse hut on the left. We can't do anything yet, we need to make a potion. But interact um, with the mouse hut again and pick up the berries. Go back and then interact with the right hand side. Get rid of these uh, bunch of bushwas, these 80s style bushes, you need to trim them. Um, pick up the house, the little house figure, and then the two other symbols we can just pop up there. Now all you got to do is just interact with each one until it turns green, and you'll know exactly when that happens. And that'll open up this in order to get another item. Wow! Why there's mouse food be hidden behind a weird lock like that, I don't know, but interact with the back of the screen, and then what we can do is pick up this book, pick up this scarf, and then we can pick up this little wolf icon, pick up the second of golden balls from the left hand side, so now you should have golden nuts, pick up the tattered clothes as well while you were there, and then it'll automatically back out when you picked up everything. And now what we can do then is uh, go into your inventory, again using the right or left trigger, and then go to the box. There it is, so press the Y button when you're on the box, and now we can put the three wooden wolves in, which you should have, and grab the next uh, house icon, St uh, turn the arrow, and now you should have two house pieces, so again, right, um, press the X button, put the houses on, that'll get us the flute, press the arrow button again, and then put the flute on Whistling Willy right there. And once that opens, that gives us a little handle, press the arrow again, and now we can put the handle on there, that'll go dun 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 and then crappy pants, and then we can pick up everything that we need from there. Again, a hammer would have just done the trick, given it a good whack, but there we go, we got to piss around and solve puzzles and stuff. Right, press down on the D-pad to get to your potion section, so put the transformation bag in the bowl, and again press the X button, put in the myrrh, better be gold here somewhere, and then we can put in the blueberries as well. And there is actually one ingredient missing, which we will just go back and do now, so do not panic. Um, we basically have to go back to the beginning of the area where the sort of clown's cart thing was on the left. So if we haven't got all ingredients yet, don't panic, because there is still one that we need to grab. So, uh, so apologies, this bit was just taking a while. <laughs> I was just wondering. So press the B button a couple of times to go back. Go to the clown cart on the right. And now we can put the two balls, golden bollocks on his head, and his mouth opens, and that gives us the final ingredient of what we were missing, so apologies about that one there, just checking me notes and everything, but now we can put in the lavender water, and that is the way the cookie crumbles, now we can grab the jar on the right hand side, give that a little bloop bloop, or a lot of bloop bloop apparently, grab, put it in the beakers on the left hand side, and get that down your neck boy. It's like a Jaeger bomb times 50. 
sickening. So here we are then in Stuart Little's house and the first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing the one from the right hand side just to the right of the mouse there right where the, the cursor is that should be one three out of 16 so interact with the mouse there and now we've got a few things to do so move that thing on the floor then we can zoom in grab the bell and just interact with the curtain pole a couple of times. Sorry, Stu, just um, destroying your house because we can. Pick up the thing that the curtain was holding on to and then zoom with the plate on the background. Put that pin in the top. And then we can walk up to it. Walky, walk, walk. And then we basically have to grab a few gears and then use it on the clock. Again, very, fairly simple puzzle. Enjoy. <laughs> right? See, so mate, that weren't so bad, was it? Nice and cheesy does it. Last one. And easy. So we fixed that for him. Top of the morning to you, Stuart Little, you Irish bastard. And then we can just interact with Stuart again. <laughs> and he'll basically say, yes, I can talk to the human and nobody wants any money from me. I'm a talking mouse. God damn. Interact with the mouse hat again and then we can put him in our little, little pocket. Our little Irish Stuart Little. For some reason going back and interacting with the left hand side we can now put both of these senior ding dong bells in they're going to do it in a particular order so the first one is the bottom left then the top right bottom right top left and that will open up the door and now we've got our beloved beauty blondness but we're going to pick up the wand from the skeleton's leg again very easy to miss those ones but that should be four out of 16 ones hello my beloved how are you today, huh? Well, anyway, you need to talk to her anyway. Uh, sorry, I'm not being that guy. Uh, interacting with the chalkboard, picking up the piece of paper and the pin. The chalkboard on the left. Interact with the table where Blondie is. Blondie Beauty, and she very creepily takes the mirror away. Is it? Because that seems dodgy to me. Hmm. My guess is you are dodgy, and I don't like you no more. Get away. Get away, you. Anyway, interacting with the table again, and then we can put the pin in the little chest. So we're just stealing from her, basically, which is cool. Uh, but you should pick up three of these little pieces of paper and the moose head out of the box as well. So three small pieces of paper, moose head from the box. Make sure to grab that before you go. Now, on your inventory, interact with the complex lock again. Use the deer head in the middle of the lock. And pop that up, boy. And grab that, and again, like I said, she, Dr. Blondie's just gone right there, so now we, we've just stolen everything we can off her, so, awkward. Right, so now we can put the one piece of paper we had, put the three together, and that comes up with these crazy symbols, interact with the thing just to the right of the skeleton, and again, um, grab the paper piece, put it on here, and do it in the same order that you see on the paper, so just copy the symbols from left to right. And once done, zoom in again, and we can pick everything that we need. So interact with these first few bottles of potions, get them out of the way, get that done in your neck as well if you're feeling brave. Grab that, and this little pin from the left hand side, and the little bag as well. So grabbing those three will automatically close the screen. And are we done with this area? 
I'd love you to tell me. No, um, we need to go onto the doctor's bag now in the inventory, and now we can put the piece that we just found. Pop that one in, that'll open up the bag, and we've got, now got another piece. So that should be like two sort of diamondy mirror pieces if you got there. So heading back into your potion, <coughs> excuse me, press the X, put the magnifying glasses on the chopping board, and the um, evidence as well, and also put the powder on it as well. So this is, again, suspicious white powder, but we're going to grab the knife. We're going to smear the suspicious red powder. Don't put it up your nose because you'll probably bleed. And then just grab the jar, pop that on there. Delicious. Any suspicious white powder? Use, don't, don't, don't put it up your nose, kids. Uh, we're going to put the shredded piece on it. Use the scissors on it. And they're not scissors. They're a, a, it's a specific doctor term, I know. Then we can grab the jar again. And then we can use that, so that'll be both pieces of the magnifying glass. What I was going to say, if you do find any suspicious white powder, just go ahead and um, put it in your washing machine. Because that's what it probably is, just there, isn't it? Yeah. Right, what we need to do is find a specific germ and then press the X button to switch and find that same one. So the first one we're doing is like this big blue ball with green genital water, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. When you grab that one, press the X button to switch. For some reason I'm having trouble finding that one as soon as you got this um, genital wall blue ball up and then all you got to do is just find the same one so there that one is again it's a very simple one but you just got to pick the same ones I do so just stick with this one this one's fine and eventually it's gonna float by like a germ in the wind and there it is it's kind of like a hoover looking thing I don't know what the hell that is press the X button to go back to the first one and grab the exact same one again so he's gonna appear there he goes so uh, like a I don't know. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. So grab this um, ball sack with, I don't know what the hell that is. And again, just grab the same one from the next slide. Kind of looks like a walnut if it had been left under your settee for a couple of years. Or a Maltese. Delicious. Right, so that should be that puzzle done. Now we can go back and back again. And now we interact with the sheriff's office. And now we can interact with the sheriff. <laughs> the sheriff I never bath. Um, bring him the DNA evidence and again use the mouse on him as well So that should get the evidence list all complete or any and that will um, Free our clean prisoner friend after we walk up to the sheriff sheriff again uh, Or your Stuart Little's gonna take a little talk to him again, but then we can um, Interact with the prisoner give him a little talk and say god damn You are a good-looking rugged man for such a prisoner Right, so what we need to do then, again, all you're doing this time is just following the path that I do. Um, if, if you do get stuck, it's literally on the right-hand side. North means you go up four times, and then you go east three times, so to the right, etc, etc. But just follow the path I do, and you'll be fine, just fine. Shit, son! He just got mashed up, yo! <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Right, from the top of the castle, pick up the fifth out of 16 puzzles and uh, interact with the dead guy and grab his little E coin right here. Uh, grabbing the trumpet coin as well from his hand, so you should have two coins right there. And they can grab the letter. Uh, don't think it does anything, I think it just um, advances the story, so grab the letter just in case. And that one's that one. So uh, now go in basically just in front of us to the, uh, sorry, to the left of us is what we're doing is go into this box. So the box on the left, grab the crowbar. Handy that a crowbar was right next to this poorly, um, <laughs> this poorly uh, piece of crap crate, we'll just call it. Interact with everything and then grab your second out of three trumpet coins if you want. Uh, to the right-hand side, all we need to do now is find six similar pairs. This doesn't count as a hidden object puzzle. So again, it should be the ex for the exact same as you. So follow along. Don't be a mong like me. Joking. Love you.
You can always go. Ach, dun, dun. Right, so that should be three out of three trumpets now. Interact with the thing, um, the door right in front of us there. Interact with all these four. And now we can open that one up. So now we can put the sort of trumpet coins or the trumpet buttons on. Now there is, again, a particular order you have to do for these ones. So the left one, put it all the way to the bottom. I was right the first time. So the bottom one to the left one to the bottom. Then the next one to the third one. Third one at the top. And then the fourth one uh, to the second one. That'll call the guard. So go ahead and speak to Guardy McBathface. Or a cheap Thor. Okay, so here is the portal. Now, this one could be the same, or it could be potentially a little bit random for you in terms of it's placed in a different position. All you've got to do is just put it um, to match the picture on the right-hand side. Now, I thought I had a complete system down for this. As it turns out, I don't. Um, but I'd always start off with the outer ring, and... Try and put the sort of stone looking bridge. It's it's hard to tell from this angle But um, I always just start with the outer ring and then sort of go two down and then another two down, but um, Apologies that I don't have any particular tactics for this one uh, But for, for whatever reason this is the sort of hardest quote-unquote hardest one because it's not actually that bad But the next couple of these we do are a lot easier. So well, count your blessings. But again, apologies, I don't have a, a, a specific tactic for this. But all you got to do is just make it so that the picture is the same on the right-hand side. See, all it takes is just getting the outer ring there. Uh, I know that one did take me a couple of minutes. But as soon as that one's done, we can go through the portal and talk to Burger King King and his little daughter. Small Burger King King. Burger King Queen, yeah. Right, put these in order. So talk to the guy first, then put the map second, then the beast third, the other beast fourth, and then the coin fifth. And, well... The story gets nuts from you. So we need to do another small puzzle just to the left of Burger King King. And it's the same puzzle we've done earlier. So rot rotate the pieces. Again, fast forward by about 20-30 seconds to see the old finished piece. Now, my huns, let's get our buns to Silverclaw Manons. Enter through the pole, press the B button to skip, and... Oh, we got Dodgy Guy going in there, but right. First of all, pick up the puzzle piece from the right-hand side, just where the curse was then. Then interact with the door and pick up this piece of wood. Then interact with the sort of statue-type thing, pick up the horseshoe. You should have one of those. Nothing else to do here for the second uh, for time being. Interact with the sort of stone and grab the next piece of wood. Now this is the one where I make no mistakes on hidden object puzzles. So if you still haven't got it by now, um, 
I don't advise to do it on this one because there again there are plenty more to do. But if you want to get it done, this is the one where I make no mistakes on this hidden object puzzle. So again, there may be things that will change. So just be careful. Uh, and again, if you still haven't got it, just be very careful. And if you do make a mistake, you can, again, like I said, you can just quit out of the main menu, come back in, try again. But you'll still have to recollect everything from a couple of seconds ago. You're unmistakable. New, 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 new. So there you go. So that's where I got it. But again, hopefully you would have got it by now. If not, there are a few more to do. But obviously, it's better to get it done out of the way. So going behind the manor, picking up the ladder from the floor. Uh, there are a couple of things we need to do, and well, we've actually got most of them now. So interact with the puzzle there on the right-hand side, on top of the barrels, on top of the fence. That should be seven out of sixteen for puzzles. Interact with the left-hand side and grab the um uh grab the bag and grab these two items so you should have two of the one and a couple of nails as well and then interact with the right hand side and pick up this piece as well we're going to come back and do a particular order for these flowers get them all poiple interact with the top of the roof and put this thing that we just grabbed onto the chain silver chain right now what we can do is Interact with where the wood just fell down and pick that boy up and pick up the hammer as well. And, well, guess what we're going to do? We are going to go into our inventory by pressing the right or left trigger, pressing the Y on the ladder, and then put the wooden boards on, then the nails, and then the hammer a -roni. hammer Rooney. So, pop the ladder right next to the building and then walk up to it, and we've got another little hidden object puzzle, so... Enjoy! Yeah, after I got all the hidden object puzzle related achievements, I kind of got lazy um, just spamming the crap out of everything. But once you have found everything, you should have some moss. And now we can go to the right hand side where the water's flowing down. And we're going to interact with these those red flowers from earlier to make them poiple. And the first, this is how to do it then. So from the left, um, do this sort of second flower in. Click on the second flower in. And then just go up to the sort of second from the right from the top. Then go one down and then click it again. To the right, top right corner, click it again, and then down one on the right hand side to click it again. And then that should get all the flowers purple. That should get us the purple bell-ended um, uh, flower. And then we can go back. And I think we can uh, interact with the statue. We can now put the two pieces in. And you can just interact with each of these once. Oh, until they go green actually, so. Just like the little small puzzle earlier on, as soon as that goes green, we can now interact with this little sword. Sword of life! Interact with the um, sort of stone, put the sword in, that gives us another flower. I'm going to be making some p -p 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 potions, p -p 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 pick up a potion. 
So again, down to the D-pad, put the moss in, put the purple flower in, and put the sunflower type thing in. Grab the jar from the right, pop that in, stick it in the beaker up your left. That's getting down your throat, 60 times stronger than the Jaeger bomb this time. So you are going to crap your pants at the end of this one. A lot of potions in the short space of less than an hour. <sighs> Diarrhea's coming, man. Yeah. <laughs> So now we can get in them, the first thing we're going to do is pick up a wand which is just to the left of the guy sitting on the stairs and just to the right of the statue. Well, you can speak to him first if you want, doesn't make a difference, but he's going to bugger off anyway. Uh, so yeah, there is a wand just to the left on the stairs where the guy was, so make sure to pick that one up. I can't do it! I can't look at your face no more! It turns me on too much! Eh. Anyway, that's the fifth wand. Then pick up the ghost, third ghost, top left hand corner. That should be ghost 3 out of 8 right there, which was the top left-hand corner. Um, interact with the left-hand side and grab this arrow on top of this little puzzle. And then what you could do is just move the bottom one, move the top left, and move the middle one there. And we can come back to that a little bit later on. So zoom with the statue on the right, put the arrow in, interact with it, and then on his hand there's going to be a little switch, so pop that one on. And fantastically, I mean, it's amazing that somebody couldn't be asked to open the curtains by themselves. They had this mechanism, which is damn fantastic, actually. So now head up to the hallway. And now we are going to um, pick the wand, which is in the picture frame of the top right-hand corner there. That should be 6 out of 16. Interact with the um, table at the back and pick up the horse statue after getting rid of the cloth. And now we can go into the work office on the right. There is another wand sitting there nicely on the uh, chair, so that's one seven out of 16. And then on the right hand side, we're going to walk up to this little box and we just need to um, basically find 12 mass pieces, but they've got to be specific color ones. So again, follow along and you can't go wrong unless you've got a long schlong like me. <laughs> Man, these poems are on it today, yo. There she blows! Grab the item! Job done! Right, next what we're going to do is uh, go into inventory and then get the Insignia Edition apparently and then put the E symbol that we grabbed earlier on. That'll pop that one up. And uh, well, apparently life is good. So zoom in with the desk, interact with a couple of these papers. All it is is just your ex-girlfriend just saying you promised Netflix and chill but we actually just watched South Park for 12 hours straight which is my kind of date in all honesty. Um, so when you put the Insignia Edition thing on the desk that'll open up and we can grab a book and another symbol. So that's that bit done with. So uh, open up your inventory again, go into your diary and open up the page that'll get us this um, I don't know, kind of, look, kind of looks like a silver pin and then we can just go back Go to the right hand side, and we've got a cheap version of the Beauty and the Beast clock. A lot creepier as well, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just stop talking because you're really weird. And I love it. Right, so now we can put the triangle key when the talking clock stops yammering. Then we can pick up this item as well. And then from here, what we can do is just interact that same sort of pendulum thing we got we put it inside the clock and well apparently he's very happy with that but he gives us a the second out of two horse symbols so now we can go back into the office go to this little thing on the left hand side and then a oh well little carousel whatever this thing is put the horses on and then there are two music symbols now you need to put the first one there on the right hand side the next one, uh, put it just to the left of that, and then just grab the one from the left, put it in the middle, and that's basically it. And then that gives us a fan. And well, 
we finally got a fan. I finally got a fan on my YouTube channel. Yay! Anyway, going back to the beginning, interrupt with a picture of the back there and put the fan on. The woman put the wake up on and then put the silver claw on. I walk up to it and put the silver claw on. Put the makeup on. What am I doing? And again, this is like one of those small puzzles. So we have to find three um, sort of wolf prints. Again, very easily located. So two basically in the middle when you move the rock. And then the third one is in a tree. And then we've just got another two of these type things to do. And our dot one is too. Werewolf Hunter, we can pick up the key, but we've also discovered the curse of the Silverclaw Manor. Woof, woof. Right, in try with the left-hand side. Now we can put the key in. Very, uh, very aggressive, isn't it? Pick up the rope. And we're basically done with this section. So now we can head back up the hallway. Zoom to the left. You'll have a little cutscene right there. I already done it, but, well, the ending's always the same. Get some rope, and again, try not to accidentally put it up your nostrils and that, because, oof, imagine jumping off and snapping your nostrils. Anyway, when we get here, there is a ghost, clearly as plain as day, on the top left-hand corner. So pick him up, the fourth out of eight ghost, and there is also a one, a puzzle, sorry, eight out of sixteen puzzle on the tree branch to the right. And then we can walk up to the puzzle just next to it. Another hidden item puzzle should be exactly the same for you, so you can happily follow along and stiff. Well, look who's lucky. We got a four-leaf clover. Oh my God. Interact with um, the thing on the left-hand side, big patch. And then what we could do is just pick up this uh, piece of rope or whatever the hell that is. Uh, we can't actually interact with anything else for the time being. So, for now, what we can do is go up into the labyrinth. The labyrinth of life. So, from here, we've got, um, we've got a wand... 
somewhere. Yep, there it is. Just on the tree on the right-hand side there is the 8 out of 16 ones, I thought it was. Interact with the thing just to the left of it. Open it up, grab the key. And pick up the sickle, I think that's called. And then all you need to do for this puzzle is just interact with the pairs of flowers. So everything except for the blue one. And then we grab the blue one at the end. So pick up the blue flower. Again, don't know why you couldn't just pick that up first, but it wouldn't be a good puzzle point and click adventure game then, would it? So with the bush on the right, pick up the item off the ground, and then we can press the X button to use, and we're going to use the sickle blade. Man, that is sick. That is a sickle handle. Oh, actually, we've got to put the sickle blade on the sickle handle first. That is usually how you use things. And use the rope on it as well to make an actual sickle. So then we can use it on the bush. Apologies, forgot, you can't run or use sharp objects because that shit will hoit. So we can grab the blue flower and the sort of uh, bit of prickly bush bag. Uh, so make sure you got that. Zoom on the building on the left hand side. Open it up and um, use the tool key on it, on the lock to open that up. And now we can zoom in, have a look inside and we can just pick up this hammer, get, get rid of these couple of things, make sure you grab both those items there. Now go to the left hand side again, this little bushy area of bushness, use the sickle on it again. And uh, slicey, slicey, dicey, there we go. So we can't pick this up just yet, we need to use the um, spade. I mean, it's all fantastic. To be fair, the, the stuff that this woman's got to do just to solve a couple of crimes, Jesus Christ. Anyway, we've got some earth root or something. Top right hand corner, have a look at this fishy fountain. Put the handle in, top of the fish's head. And just give that the old interactoroni. And he's going to start spewing up. Then we can use the sort of kind of bush thing, whatever we just got. Use that on the water. And we've got that particular item. So when we're here at the labyrinth section, press down the d-pad and we're going to make another potion. So put in the mushroom first, then the silth root, then the uh, blue flower, and then the eight leaf clover. This, if you want more good luck, it's best to just drink a clover. You will be lucky forever, which would be awesome. Make me a millionaire, bro. Right, so we've got some green spewy looking stuff. Put that in the beaker on the left. And then drink that spewy bluey. When it is done, that's going to get us to the next section of Roni. And so for the next puzzle, then, we basically have to get this wolf through this maze. Um, just, again, follow exactly along with what I do and you won't have any problems. But, uh, I'll just tell you, when we go down into the right here, you will need to press up. If it looks like he can go across, he can't. You actually have to press up, like there, and then go up. Okay? So, bam, that gives us another achievement. We're not fighting the beast again. What we are doing is interacting with the beast. There we go, like now. And then what's going to happen is Paul's going to open up. And we need to press the X button on it. God damn, he's ripped. Uh, and then it's just another one of those puzzles where we have to basically make the Burger King king. So, this time is a lot easier. So, just try and follow the ones that I do. And you should have a Golden Nuggets this time. Not as bad as the first time. See, I told you it wasn't bad this time. Yeah. Man, I wish I had a back like that guy. Jesus Christ. I wish I was a beast. I'm more of a flab beast. 
flab beast. <laughs> it's sad. Anyway, after talking to the princess and Burger King King, the guard on the right will randomly appear. I don't know where. Cheap Thor will appear. Thor, as if you ordered him from Wish, by the way. And we're going to get this little cutscene, and this guy's going to turn into pure beast mode again. So, what we can do is uh, interact with this puzzle piece again by the king. Do the exact same. By the way, if, <laughs> if your controller and your cursor keeps sort of just moving on its own, um, and it does get annoying, which it often does, because it happened to me a couple of times, just, again, completely quit out of the game when you've um, gotten to a new area, so you don't lose a chunk of your save. Um, but just quit out the game completely, and then... Uh, go back into it, and it should stop doing this weird, annoying, moving crap on its own. Otherwise, finish this, go to the next portal. So, when we get here, immediately in the middle of the screen is a, the ninth out of 16 puzzle pieces on the sort of play equipment right there. And on the left hand side is the fifth out of eight ghosts. So, we should have picked up another ghost and another puzzle. Interact with dead woman on the floor. Well, kind of a live woman. And we need to try and wake her up. So, interact with um, basically just to the right of her right there. And you should have the square, the bag, and the flower. So, it's one out of three blocks. The bag and the one out of three flowers. Have a look at the left hand side. Grab this next flower. That should be number two. And then we can interact with just the, to the head. Where the mother's head was. Pick up the spade. Get rid of that. And get rid of the ball. That should be three flowers. And two out of three of those things. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> get rid of the leaf. Pick up the piece of paper. And we should be good to go. Right. Now go into your uh, inventory. And now we can put the flowers, or the daisies, sorry, on the bag, and we need to do this in a particular order. So, you need to use the piece of paper as well, and that's what it should look like. So, what we're going to do first then is move the blue one, and then move the green, then move the purple one, and then move the um, yellow one, and then move the blue one, and that is good. Again, apologies if those colours aren't the colours. My eyes are a bit monged up when it comes to certain colours. So, <laughs> yeah. Just just before you go and take the piss. Right, so, now we should have all three of these things. The left-hand side we should open up and get us another bottle. And in fact, I'm telling you now, honey, they are not salt. That suspicious white powder, which keeps appearing, is back. And look, she is well up. Salts don't do that for you. A little dabble of ca 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 cocaine does. That gets you right up, and now she's flying. Right. So, we've woken her up with some suspicious white powder. Now we can walk up, and basically we have to find 12 footprints, 6 on this area, 6 on the next, to move on. <laughs> that mother is now bouncing around the playground like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> So, welcome to the next area. Now, on the little bridge directly in front of us, make sure to pick up the wand. That should be wand 9 out of 16. Harry Potter, to the rescue. So, going into the shack, interact with the stone table on the left-hand side, pick up the two, three pieces of paper, and then just grab these sort of stones and put them in their correct colour slots. 
There you go, red, and I think that's purple on the left, right? <laughs> red, that'll do. And um, interact with the table on um, in the background. Again, grab a couple of these papers, but there is that one that we particularly need. Two and three. So that should now be six out of six, and picking up the key as well. And we've got this candle guy as well. So open him up, grab the fire coin, and we'll come back to him in just a touch. Heading back out then, and zoom in to the right of the shack or the building. We can uh, put the padlock key in it to open this up. Ooh, I wonder what surprises wait for us. Uh, nothing much. But a hammer... It's basically four, no, five items there for us to pick up. The hammer, the wrench, and the three pieces, the two pieces, and a bottle. So make sure you got them, the green totem, the candle box, all that jazz. Right, so interact with the candle box. Now, put the can the fire flame coin in. Interact with the one on the right-hand side. And then the second one. Then the third one. Then the first one. Then the bottom one. And that is the what that should be the order. By the way, everything I say from left to right is always one to four, etc. You know. So we've got the items that were in there. Now we can go back inside the shack, interact with the table at the back again. And now we can stick our big white thing inside of this small object. Um again, if you get any cracks to any of you, better go to a doctor. Um, pop the match in as well for a nice burning sensation. Ah, if you've got a burning sensation on your big white thing, you definitely best go to a doctor. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that should be him. He should be happy now. He's got a burning candle inside him anyway. That's what I was talking about, a burning candle. Jesus, you guys. <laughs> Pick up the one, 10 out of 16 on the right-hand side. So we should have the 10th one there and the coin out of the candle guy. Or the candle candle. Go to the left behind and talk to the clean ass, rugged, bearded prisoner. And we're going to get this little cutscene again, which we can skip. And that is a hell of a parkour beast. That is some beast parkour in. <laughs> get it? Beast parkour in because he's a beast and he doesn't park. Or in. Right, anyway. So when we're here, interact with the brick wall on the right hand side. Give that the hammer of a lifetime. Oh, uh, no. Is this a puzzle? No. We're going to interact with the lever. And then we are going to use the wrench to grab the valve off. And then just on the floor is a little hatch or something or other. So interact with that. Get that one off. Pick up this bit of root or whatever the hell that is. And now we need to put the valve wheel onto the valve itself. And then just press A to interact with it. I think it does it automatically, actually. So you should be as golden as nugget balls. But then we can pick up this sort of stone Thor-looking cheap hammer thing. Interact with the right-hand side. This little hole in the tree. Basically, this spider's going to come and grab that coin. Uh, but there is a puzzle piece, actually. So make sure to grab puzzle piece 10 out of 16 in the middle of the screen on top of the boxes before moving on. But the left-hand side, grab the second coin and grab a leaf there from the right. So you should have the second sort of coin and a leaf. And again, remember on top of the boxes in the middle of the screen was the 10th out of 16 puzzles. So grab that before we leave. So going back, interact with the statue on the right. We can now put the Medusa pieces, they're not coins, the Medusa pieces, and all you got to do, it's it's easy, you don't have to do it in any particular order, but you just need to put the pieces in the right place, should be as simple as pooping yourself, which shouldn't really be that simple, but this is. I really don't know why we're making all of these. You could literally sell all these diamonds and stuff for bloody millions. Jesus. That's what I'd be doing. But of course, I'm not um, any good at anything else in real life. So, back into potion. Put the green root in. Then the salt potion. So, the green root. And then the salt potion. Then the bleeding sap thing. And then that should be enough. So, the green root, the bleeding sap, and the salty potion. Now, that sounds genuinely worse than tequila shots, 12 in a row. But, anyway, it's, it's what we got to do to be a 
magic witch thing, I suppose, and solve crimes using potions. Impressive. Anyway, that's what we want, so that's what we're going to get. So get that down your neck, sunshine. And again, we've got to find three yellow, green, blue and red crystals. Lovely jubbly. Bang tidy that was, absolutely bang tidy. So we're done for this area, um, go back and go back inside the shack, interact with the stone table on the left hand side now, and this isn't a puzzle, all you've got to do is just put the correct um, totems in the right colour places, and then put the orange diamond thing in the middle, and that will basically open it up. I'll start getting this Harry Potter weird magic shit going. <coughs> Excuse me right there. And we can pick up the blue diamond. And we can make ourselves a neat couple of grand millions. But instead we needed to save some guy who's turning into a werewolf. Right. Heading back out anyway. And we are going to go into inventory and go in, into our instruction pieces. Put the um, all the pieces together. Again, this one should be easy. Shouldn't take two seconds. Do. And interact with the thing just underneath the statue. Put the blue uh, diamond tears in. Now, just skip ahead to 119.45 if you just want to see the end of this puzzle. I kind of messed it up first. But all we're doing is just basically putting the coloured diamonds in specific sections and that's it. So, skip ahead 20 seconds or so to see the end product. There we go now. She's ah lovely. We can now get down and get under the shack. Holy crap, it's dark, man. Jesus Christ. Right, anyway, did I just go from uh, southern to northern Irish? Anyway, um, unless I just made no accent at all and I looked, sounded like a right mong. So, picking up the torch from the right. On the left, you're going to see this skull. So, pick up the oil and the torch, or the cloth, sorry. So, we need to go into our inventory, put the cloth on the torch base. And, of course, put the oil on the torch. Because this is how you make fire safely. Put the match on. And, again, kids, don't worry. This is as safe as you can get. Just try not to, you know, burn yourself and all that jazz. That probably hurts. So, interact with the right-hand side again. Pop the torch in. And that'll get us the light. Some light, all the light. So, on the right-hand side, just at the bottom there, is the 11th out of 16 puzzle. So, make sure to grab that one from the right-hand side. Go back to the left where the um, skull was and grab the two items. The one key and the one yo-yo looking thing. Interact with the door. And then, pressing the X button, we can now use that key. And we can go ahead. Let's take a little look in the secret. It's not that secret if you can just open a key, which everyone can see. But, um... Hey, what do I know? I'm not a bad guy or anything. So when we're in this room then, on the left-hand side, on the bar, very e sneakily hidden, is the 11th out of 16 one. So make sure to grab that, just on the bar on the left-hand side. And then we can walk up to uh, where it was just underneath. Picking up the flag, uh, underneath the bars. Picking up the flag and heading back. We'll come back to this one later. On the right-hand side, a cutscene is going to happen. Where Crap Man, Crap Batman... 
He's going to grab our diamond. Cheeky beasted. So, interact with the sort of picture board on the right-hand side again. And just get rid of these pieces. Just keep interacting with them until they all eventually piss off, man. So, all we're doing is just, um, it's another game of pairs. Mash the snakes and win the puzzle. And win at life. So, picking up the yo-yo thing and the diamond. Should be two out of two yo-yos and one out of three diamonds. <clears throat> so. <coughs> from here, from the on the right-hand side, pick up the uh, butterfly brooch or brooch or whatever the hell that is. And then we can go back. Interact with the left-hand side where the skull is again. And now we can put the yo-yo things on. Um, so, from the one on the right-hand side, click it once. And then just click the top left one once. And then that should, uh, it should go automatically, that's pretty much easy. Pick up the two items in here, and now we can go back into the secret lair. Oh, in fact, no, we're going to the right, sorry, we're walking up and doing another hidden object puzzle first. Apologies, almost steered you wrong, and I hate when I do that. Anyway, do this big hop. Everyone's happy. So we've got a mooncake cactus. Chuckity puck. If anyone knows where that is, please let me know because I know what it's from. Mooncake cactus. So grab the moon cactus and grab the flower off it. The mooncake chuckity puck. Final space that's from. Awesome show on Netflix. Annoying that Netflix cancelled it. But again, Netflix cancelled everything after one or two seasons because screw them, that's why. So put in the bat flower and then the um, mooncake flower. The potion... And that should be that. So, yeah. So, sorry, I went a bit, I went quite um, quick with them ones, sorry. There's a lot of times I'm trying to sort of slow the game down. Go fast, but kind of go slow so you can keep up. But again, I apologise. There are some points I've gone quite fast with certain things. But, um, eh, you know, you're all good. You're all good. You're fantastic gamers. So, that's why I love you. I love you. Right, anyway. We've now got the Hidden Knowledge Achievement, so that one should be automatically picked up. Pick up the one from the right of the bat, right there, and that should be 1 to 12 out of 16, before talking to Crap Batman. Or regular old Crap Bat. Uh, pick up the tongs that he gives us. And we basically need to make an aviator helmet. Um, interact with the clock at the top. And those are forks, sorry, not tongs. Eh, it's, all the s it's all the same jazz, isn't it? All the same jizz. <laughs> Uh, ooh, hope not. So now we've got what we need. Now we're going to be doing another sort of slight hidden object puzzle again. So again, this should all be the same for you. So crackle on, my friends. And we'll get, what that gets us is an aviator hat. So, we're going to go into our inventory and go onto the aviator hat, press the Y button, and press the A button to get rid of the, gull, um, the sort of glasses, the monocles. On the right-hand side, there will be a microscope here, so we need to interact with this a couple of times. Oh, actually, use the clock hands, sorry. Use the clock hands on it and then interact with it a couple of times, and that should get us two glasses to stick in said aviator hatterini. So again, go into the inventory, aviator hat, put the monocles in, and then we can now use it with the bat. So on the bat, press the X button, then use the aviator hat, 
Again, I was having trouble there for some reason. How do I go up on the control? Sometimes my brain stinks. Anyway, he gives us the next um, piece. So thanks for that, Dongleberry. Go to the left and interact the Medusa head with the book. And we've got a kind of like spot difference puzzle. So do this and enjoy the story again. <laughs> Right, so that'll be that one again. Nice and easy, right? I told you these puzzles are easy in the game. I wouldn't let you down. Interacting with the door, and then we can interact with the uh, valve in the middle there. Put the three pieces in. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Interact with the lever on the left-hand side. But again, what's that going to do is hilariously break. Which would just be your luck, wouldn't it? Well, lucky we managed to pick up a random flag that was on a random spell book earlier on. And that gives us the opportunity to head into the empty streets. Right, next thing to collect. On the left-hand side, on the tower, is the obvious-looking puzzle piece. 12 out of 16, now that should be. And just to the left of that is the 6th out of 8 ghosts. Just uh, sit on the barrels there. So, first thing to do, we're going to go back, actually, first. And then walk up and do another hidden object puzzle. Coming thick and fast, like a cream pie. Of sorts. So what this is going to do is give a spree, the Springfield Spring. Or oh, Slinky, Slinky, go, Slinky, go. And then for some reason, the game starts doing this annoying thing with the cursor. But in the inventory, get your Slinky out. Go, Slinky, go. And then turn it into a straight Slinky with a little bent Slinky at the bent end. Right, so again, I had to quit out the main menu and do it again because it kept doing the stupid cursor thing. Oh, I'll start it again. Anyway, on the left-hand side, where you found the puzzle, make sure to grab that, use the slinky, and then on the right-hand side, use this lock thing. And then what you need to do is an easy puzzle. Just turn all of them into a circle first. And then the second time, we need to turn them all into diamonds. So just press it, press everyone once. And then for the last time, press everything once again, and then they should all turn into squares. And that is what will open the box. Again, simple puzzles. You've never seen anything so simple, apart from Jitalon games. Right, that should get us like a pair of Dr. Scissors. Then interact with the horse and cut that off. Don't miss the horse wiener, because goddamn, that'll be painful if you accidentally catch a horse on his junk with a pair of scissors, or anyone with a pair of scissors, really. So, again, follow it the path I do. We need to um, do the path, but light up all the dots on the way.
So, welcome to the next bit. Right, we've got a wand and a puzzle to collect. So, on the floor, right in front of the rock in the middle of the floor. Again, I had to quit out and come back in. Kept doing that stupid cursor, moving on its own thing. But there are a wand on the floor, and just above it on the rock is the 13th puzzle. So, you go to the right, and we need to find some 12 fish now. So... It goes quite slow first in terms of puzzles, but they come thick and fast at you at the end. So when we've got half fish, we need to do another small uh, but easy puzzle now. And this one is directly in front of us on the jukebox. And we've got to um, put the fish in and direct him using the buttons on the left. So go down and then go right. So use the top button. Then go up using the third button. Then right using the top button. Down using the bottom button. And then right again, using the top button, down, and life is good. That one was a nice easy one. And <laughs> apparently the prize is a freaking sword and a pipe. So grab the sword and a freaking pipe. And there's a ladder on the floor just to the left of the wall. So put that up against the wall and now we can go into the abandoned cottage bit. Right. When we are... Yeah... Uh, not much to do in this particular area, but on the left-hand side is um, the ghost, 7th out of 8th ghost, sitting on the carriage. So make sure to pick him up right there, just where he was on the left, and then zoom in on the plaque on the right. And what you need to do is just collect. This isn't a puzzle, we're just um, picking a whole bunch of these yellow flowers. So that should get you six out of six. Now you can give them to the woman or man you truly love. But again, in this game, we need them for saving people. So well, you'll have to think of something else. Right on the left-hand side where the ghost was on the cart, use the um, big pipe thing we got, get the gorilla statue, and then go back. Go to the left-hand side, and then we can put the gorilla statue in this box. Interact with that, and that is going to get us a banana skin. That is jokes mate that is just jokes so interact with the horse get this little knife and then grab the two or the one scroll or whatever that is imagine doing all that work for not even a full banana fumigate your mate so pressing down on the d-pad go to this potion bit and then we're just putting all the three things that we had in there so the banana potion banana skin and the six yellow flowers Again, grabbing the jar on the right, popping that in. Get down down your neck, and I'll tell you what, if it's got a lot of banana in it, it must be healthy, but too much banana can... Well, you end up pooping out your penis, so... <laughs> and I only said penis because it offends a certain one person, and it's hilarious that somebody gets offended by the word penis. <laughs> anyway, you've got to do this in a particular order. So from left to right, not including the left and right most bars so it's the second one then the sixth one then the the fourth one then the fifth one then the first one and then the third one that is the order that you have to do it in that gets us going um yeah so ignoring the left most bar and the right most bar it was the six sort of in the middle there but when we've done that, we can now head into Ye Old Library. And we're sort of about 20 minutes uh, from the end now, actually, so we're getting there. So on the left-hand side, pick up the wand, which is just um, to the left of the bottom of the stairs. That should be wand 14 out of 16, plus the achievement we got there as well. So, um, yep, yeah, and then we can zoom in and 
just to the right of where the wand was, moving all these sticks, and we've got uh, a couple of items there. Well, the one particular we need. Going back and then zooming in onto the right-hand side, and we can pick that item in, grab the box, or open the box, um, and then we need to put the pieces of paper. There should be two pieces of paper in here, actually. There we go. Pot them both at the top of the chest. And it's a specific order for some vases for a little vase puzzle, or vase, or if you're really posh, a vase uh, that we need to do. So that is on the right. Again, it's just as easy as following along with exactly what I do. Or you can just have a look at the uh, picture and go from there. Up to you. So that gets us yet another bottle of potion yum-yums. The stuff that can really make a guy crap his pants. Uh, we can go back, go to the left, interact with the suitcase, and now we can put this corrosive ass burning acid on. And that's going to open up the case for us. Lovely. Yeah, and interact with everything, but the main thing is we're going to be picking up the gloves. Now we can just nip straight back through the gate because we're going to be doing... A little bit of climbing, i.e. exampling, doing a little bit more puzzles. Now, just for this puzzle, all you got to do is more or less a hidden object item. you just got to move bugs and branches out the way to get to the specific symbol. So, do it now! Welcome to the castle! We've got fun and games! We've got enemies to kill you! Have a look at the puzzle piece! Yes, puzzle piece 14 out of 16 on the left hand side before uh, speaking to the cleanest prisoner you'll ever see. Right, what we're going to do now is basically assemble the crystal and kill the enemy. Kill the enemy! So again, right hand side right there next to the prisoner, find the glass pieces. And, lo and behold, when we get the final two puzzle pieces here, guess who the enemy is? Remember our blonde, beautiful friend who took the mirror and ran away? <gasps> May Gertrude's the enemy. What a plot twist. Anyway, use the uh, crystal on the enemy at the top. Now you have to do a sort of mini game. And as soon as the emerald goes on to um, the music notes, just press the corresponding button to it. And you'll have to do this just three times to kill her off. Mad. Harry Potter style is working this time.
awesomely and hilariously playing the flute and chucking an emerald that her kills her off. So, job done. Right, speak to the clean prisoner once again. The uh, Mr. I had a bath. And then have a look on the left... Um, yes, the left-hand side, sorry, in the bottom case you've got... We can now pick up the magic flute. We can now pick up the snake head and put it on. And we can now pick up the rest of the uh, diamonds as well. So you, you should get an achievement for getting the old magic piperoni. The piperoni of pizza. Have a look at the side room now. A couple of things to do here. The first thing is to pick up the 15th wand by the stack of books on the right hand side. The puzzle piece at the top left corner. Now we should only have one left each. Um, so grabbing the broom and interacting that with the thing on the right hand side. The chimey thing. Pick that up and then just pick everything that you can up including the snake. And the paper, again, doesn't really matter. Uh, pick up the book on the right-hand side, so you should have five items right now. The snake, the book, the heart, and two other things. Um, plus, I think, no, we're all good for that bit. On the left-hand side, by the books, um, grab the piece of paper on the left, open it up, and grab the moon. All right, lovely job. Go back, and now go to the bottom shuffle the bookcase and then put the snake key in now you have to put these snakes in a particular order and it should just be basically from small medium to large and then pick up the two items in here um, insert the book on the right hand side there and that's going to get us the circle thing interact with the door right in front of us and then in put the sun and moon on and then interact with them each once all very quickly so they all smash in together look at that like a glove. Anyway, here is the ripped beast, Evan. Who's not quite a beast at the minute, but he's still a beast. On the left-hand side, interact with the ghost um, just by the tree. And that should be your eighth and final ghost. So we should have no more ghosts to collect. Uh, have a look at this puzzle there, which is just at the top of the beaming statue. And grab the item there, the necklace. And now we can use our inventory, press the white button to go into it, and put all the crystals in it. Uh, it's not a puzzle, you don't have to put them in any order, which is good. So now we're going to the right of Evan and going down in the under room. The undercarriage. Don't check out my undercarriage. Uh, anyway, on the top right hand corner is the 16th puzzle. So we've only, we should only have, now have one wand left to collect. So interact this with this puzzle on the left hand side, put the ring in it. And then again, you ju we just need to basically make um, a feather picture. As you can probably already tell. And there we go, when that one is done, we can now pick up the key. And we can pick up this piece of paper as well, delightful. But we will be coming back to this in just a touch. So it's not totally done this bit yet. So have a look at the two chests. The left hand side one has a couple of things to get rid of. But the main important thing is we're picking up the two items, the glasses and that two out of three snake heads. Right, from here, what we can do, uh, we don't have to go to the left, we can just go onto the statue on the left, put the necklace in, which we shouldn't now have, and he'll open up his hand, get out a cheeky piece of paper, and we can get one of the monocles and another piece of paper as well. Uh, for another puzzle, uh, so with the glasses frame, we should have both uh, monocles now, so we can pop the two monocles in, into the glasses, and then we can head back. Uh, zoom onto the top left um, statue puzzle again, uh, get the piece of paper out, and basically what you have to do, uh, just follow exactly what I do here, so it's the top left one, then it'll be bottom row, um, third on the bottom row, and then the second on the top row, and then first on the bottom row, then third on the top row, second, uh, fourth on the bottom row, fourth on the top row, second on the bottom row, so you would have probably been easier for you to just follow rather than me um, talk there. But, uh, you know, I, I, tr I tried my best. But my best wasn't good enough. Here he is, Mr. Handsome Devil. Evan the Beast He's going to give us um, something of what looks like... <laughs> he's too weak. Get a sandwich down, you better, you'll be fine. Anyway, go back. Go back to the side room. 
and interact with the big statue. And we're going to do another one of these puzzles. We've got to put the glasses monocles on. And what we need to do is pick a certain colour and then find the three things. And a little bit of story plays out again. And that gives us the second piece of what looks useless, but is actually pretty useful. So going back, heading into the middle of the doorway, and zoom on the door on the left. Put both the door knobs on, and then all you got to do is just make all the knobs fit. So they're pretty fairly obvious which ones. Swap the third and the first one, swap the fourth and the second one. And that's pretty much it. So that is, again, you will have, <laughs> you'll have a harder time waking up in the morning to be honest and getting a cup of coffee down you so skip this bit now we can collect the last one which is on the right hand side past the statue and now you should have the collector achievement uh, so congratulations if you do and then on the floor we've got another uh, hidden object puzzle to do so get this out of the way this will be your last opportunity to do the hidden object puzzle in under a minute and for not making a mistake if you haven't done it already so just be careful okay So that gets us your ex's key, snake key, <laughs> get it? Because your ex is probably a snake, because they're all douchebags, all exes. That's why they're exes for a reason. But going back into the next room, on the puzzle on the right, we're putting all these snakes, uh, snake heads in. And we have to put these in a particular order. So it'll be bottom left, top left, bottom right, top right. Job done. That opens up this mysterious book. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et so walk up to it. And we've got another bunch of stuff to find. Again, very easy one.
So doing that will um, give us a key. We are literally five minutes away from finishing this room. So go into the lift room, interact with the lion on the left, and we need to basically put both his eyes to the green. That is some sharp looking eyes, Mr. Lion. Interact with the chain, and that is going to lift up this elevator. Now, we need to fix it, because it is broke, as things usually are in video games. We should have the two keys now, so we can interact with the bottom of the elevator. Pop that open. And then we can just come back to this in a little bit. So head back into the main room. Go to the under room. And on the left hand side with the puzzle we've done earlier. What we need to do is again just rotate the rings until they look like they do on the right. Again not too bad this one. Not like the buggers earlier. And that's how you do it in my town baby. So pick up the gear cog. Come on, boys. Let's finish this. Boys and girls, let's do this. Go back into the artifact room. Pop the cog in the bottom of the lift or the elevator or whatever you want to call it. And there we go. So we should get an achievement there. Mechanic for fixing <clears throat> said elevator. Now what we're going to do is put the two levers, uh, two up and two down. So interact with the rightmost one first, then the second one. So then interact with the third one. I do do the first one here, but it makes no difference. You just need to interact with the third one there. And that is what will get that working. Now we can go to Medusa's tomb. And then basically, we've just got this one sort of boss fight. Um, and all it is is basically like a, a QTE event. It's just a sort of button mashing game. So we're going to walk up. And I'll tell you what you need to do now. Just like the puzzle earlier with the magic flute. Awful. So as the notes come down, you just got to hit it in that specific button. So LB now... Uh, for some reason, I'm taking a while to get used to this one. And then on the meter on the left, you just got to fill that all the way up. So as you can see, it'll be X, right bumper, A, left bumper, and B. So just keep doing that until the meter's full. Every time you miss one, the meter goes down a bit. So try and get this one good. Otherwise, as soon as you're finished, that is the end of the game. And there we are then, guys and gals. So that was the free Queen's Quest V Symphony of Death. Sounds like a 1980s metal band, but that is awesome. Uh, but there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game and the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just legends. And again, a thank you to everyone who continues to interact with me on the daily as well. And that will be that then. So, again, enjoy the free game. Hope it serves you well. And I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.